Hey. I'm kind of really digging this natural light right now. I'm sure later a cloud will happen and then I'll turn on the ring light, but I'm like actually feeling this, this like sort of cozy. It feels kind of cozy. Yes. Happy day 20, guys. I'm wearing like real pants today. Look at this. I'm wearing freaking green khakis. I brushed my hair like I. Oh, and thank you to those who watched yesterday's video and liked it and all of that. Uh, some of y'all actually preferred it. So happy accidents, I guess. Today I'm going to be very deliberate in pressing record on the other camera because I'm not dealing with that again. That being said, I'll try and throw in more ridiculousness, some accents. I don't know. Something. Jar. We're running low. Ow. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. So my friend Robin suggested Harry Potter characters. Robin, I'm sorry. I suck at painting people. So if it's okay with you, I'm going to do a wedge about the Horcruxes because those are freaking cool and we can make the panel look real magical and, and mystical. And I just thought about this. Panel 20 is like on the exact opposite side of the Niffler. We got a magic sandwich. It's gonna be great. Let's do it. Can't decide what the hair's doing today. I just keep playing with it. You just, we're, we're just, we're, you're gonna, you're gonna deal. So here are my thoughts. I want to paint the Horcruxes, but I don't just wanna paint them. I also kind of wanna paint them involving the method by which they were destroyed. But first we need to start with a background and I'm thinking neutral, so I'm thinking sort of a smoky background. So maybe I'll do gray, but not just like a wash of gray, like a multi-dimensional gray. And smoke means finger painting. Double checking that we're recording. <laughs> Did a quick wash of the gray. That actually kind of matches my shirt. Huh. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my ring finger and I, you, I do this because the ring finger is the most delicate finger and I'm gonna dip it into this white that has a little bit of my gray in it. I'm not gonna mix it around and just start zhuzhing it in. Now, if you, if you ever do this, you're gonna have to go back for more paint pretty frequently because it does wipe off of your finger very quickly. But see how that looks way smokier? I think this works out really nicely. Like, look, that just looks like billowing puffs of smoke, as in Hufflepuff, which I am. Shout out to my puffs. Okay, I got some brown paint. I'm gonna start with the diary. I'm just gonna go from top to bottom. Maybe, should I make them go in a spiral? Oh girl. Let's see how big they get. But we might we might go in a spiral like that and we like end with Nagini in the center. But we want it to be open because that's how it gets stabbed. So I've got a flat brush. It is not flatsy. It's a brush number two from Artist Loft Necessities. And we're gonna draw the spine of the book. So whenever you do a spine of a book, you do that action, right? Where it looks like you're drawing a fake bird in the sky. Okay, so there's that. And now for the pages, because they were super yellowed, I'm just gonna wipe this off lightly, but not clean it off, and mix it with my white, and get that sort of like aged looking page. Paged. You're welcome. I think I'm just gonna start painting the ring. So we need to make a gold color. So we gonna need some yellow. I've got a brush whose number is worn off. Uh, hey, it's brush five, hey. Got some good yellow and we got some, some brown in there. Gonna make a gold color. I'm gonna throw in some white. There you go, there you go. We've got a ring here. Now I'm making it sort of viewed from the front like the picture I found because I want to make sure that the stone really is the focus. But while I have this color already mixed, I might as well paint like the locket and the cup. So I'm gonna do that, just painting the shapes and sort of placing them where I want them to go.
Okay, y'all, I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to paint a flying boar. I just said flying boar, and that is the symbol of the Bay Fong family from Avatar The Last Airbender. <laughs> Mixing up my fandoms, yikes. I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to paint a badger on this tiny little cup, but we're gonna see about that later. Now, what I did here with the locket is I actually, because they had to open it in order to destroy it, I'm gonna try and paint it when it was open, so with like terrifying red eyes in it. Ooh, we're getting into this one, y'all. Now I'm going to go back to the ring and put in the resurrection stone. That's something. That looks like a little much, so maybe I'll go back in and try and paint over some of that. But I'm gonna let that dry down a little bit. I'm gonna make the chain, like the actual necklace chain, is gonna go up like that. Well, it does need to be darker than the friggin' background, Andrea! Otherwise it won't show up! But cool, there, done. I just, that's it. Now, if we're staying true to the book, when they opened the locket, they saw terrible red eyes. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna paint it mostly green because Slytherin, duh. A red eye, a red snake eye, and I'm gonna paint the crack of where the sword hit it. Oh, I'm excited. I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna paint over that pupil with black, but I want to give it that yellow aura around it. Oh, it's gonna look terrifying. But while I have yellow on my brush, let's see if we can't darken up this gold. Like, why won't it look more gold? I love gold. Name the movie. Hint. I've already said half the title. Got a little too crazy with it, you know? Sometimes you get a little too crazy. But what do we always say, kids? What do we always say? You can always cover it up. Five points to whatever house you're from. There's some detail in this cup that I don't know if it's physically possible for me to do, but we're gonna, we're gonna try! Oh, what I really should be doing is this entire video in a British accent. <laughs> What's everyone's favorite part of the Harry Potter movies? Mine is when he takes Felix Felicis, because here, here I go with my accent. All right. When he takes it and they ask him how he feels, and he goes, excellent, really excellent. And then he starts talking about how he needs to go down to Hagrid's and he's like, I, th I just feel like Hagrid is the place to be tonight. Do you know what I mean? And they're like, no. <laughs> he's like, well, I know what I'm doing. Or Felix does. He keeps walking and then he runs into someone and he just goes, hi! It's just so bloody funny. And Horace gives that beautiful, I guess, eulogy later talking about um, the dangers of having an acromantula and Harry brings up the pincers and he's like, not to mention the pincers. The entire time I'm watching this going, he's on drugs. He's on an actual drug right now. No one has a problem with it. It's perfectly legal. Anyway, <laughs> let's put some details on this guy. Hold that thought. Look how tiny it is. Do you feel the excitement? Do you feel it? Do you feel it? Do you feel it now? Do you feel it now, Mr. Krabs? Let's see, I've never used this before. I literally just opened it. I'm just gonna try it. I don't know how well camera two can see it, but it's, it's doing something. Oh, yeah, that 
that works. That works for me. It's muddy, but it's gonna get stabbed with a basilisk fang anyway. <laughs> Thank you, tiny detail brush. Y'all! Where have you been all my life? Eh, 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 eh. And now we can do more details on the ring. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. In order to get the cracked glass effect, I'm gonna need to shade the green with probably some gray at first, and then draw in the little cracks with like, I'll start with white, because it's easier to cover up. Maybe, but I like the white. Let's lay down some other stuff. Because the diadem is silver with the blue stone and then the eagle, which, okay, I'm gonna make sort of a darker silvery color. <laughs> Let's be honest, I'm making gray. And I got flatsy. And I like that it's near the bottom because I can make the flames look like they're coming up from the bottom. Ooh, well this is gonna be special. If nothing else, this is gonna be special because I've painted fire before. For the record, I am not etching in which beyond measure is man's greatest treasure. I am just not doing it. Just saying that now. So set your expectations where they need to be for that information, okay? So I have to go, I have to go to the loo. So now is as good a time as ever for a dry tie break. <laughs> So what house are you in, Ray? Say, I'm in Huffle Fluff. Yes, I've been thinking about that joke for the entirety of this video. All right, where were we? Ah, yes, flesh. Eh? <laughs> kind of want to give him green eyes. Because he has green eyes, because he has Lily's eyes. He doesn't have Daniel Radcliffe eyes. Well, Daniel Radcliffe did a great job. Like, I can't even fault him. It's okay, Daniel. I don't blame you. I'm giving him green eyes. I don't like his mouth. Anyways, Harry Potter on an episode of X-Files. Okay. And now the snake. And some of that dark green. Yeah. I'm just gonna try and paint this. See what happens. I got green on brush zero. Did I say that already? I'm saying it again. You got 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 green on brush zero. Okay, I think I need to start adding a few more details to the diadem. It, that looks pretty much dry. And the separation of the, the pages in the diary. I'm gonna make some pages, I'm gonna make some details on the tiara. What are you doing today?
Now for the snakey, the snakey snake de details, I'm going to make a lighter version of that green. Let's see what happens when I add ivory to it to try and make a highlight. It's not perfect, but we gotta draw him getting his, her. We gotta draw her getting her head cut off anyway. So like, it is time to destroy the Horcruxes. We need a fang. We need a sword. We also need a sword. Oh my God! All three that get killed by the sword are right here. Guys, I think I win. <laughs> Let me know if you think I should paint the sword two more times. I'm not entirely sure where they go, maybe below here and across here. I think that's the only place that they could go. Let me know what you think, because I'm happy to edit this later, especially if you have a good suggestion. We got some destroyed horcruxes, y'all. Well, that was fun. Let's bring it. Oh, it's fun. Oh, that's really interesting. And you can like tell what each of them are. My favorite is still the diadem on fire. <laughs> and I do like the spilling ink. Yeah, it's a good time. Thanks, Robin. Well, that'll do it for day 20, you guys. Oh my goodness. I can't believe we've done 20 of these. One of them was a total screw up, but you know, we, we tried. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like these videos, subscribe. If you like painting and things, subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow for day 21.